Morning, lovely ladies and gentlemen. Stephen Gabriella Collins coming to you from beautiful San Antonio, Texas, the second most powerful, passionate, and purposeful coach and speaker in the world. I hope you guys are thrilled that you've been given another chance to get your life right today. Today, I want to have a conversation with you to cause you to reflect on where your focus tends to lie. Where your focus tends to lie will normally be a great indicator of your fulfillment in this life. If you look in, you're going to be sad. But when you look out, you can be glad. What do I mean by that? I'm so glad you asked. Let me tell you a true story about the mother of Winston Churchill who was attending one of these five-hour European dinners over 60 years ago, sitting in between Benjamin Disraeli and Harry Gladstone. Gladstone was the shoe-in to win the election at that time. There was definitely no competitors, but this Benjamin Disraeli guy showed up out of nowhere and everybody knew he was not gonna win, he was not gonna make it. After this very long dinner, sitting in between these two powerful men, Winston Churchill's mother was asked a question by news reporters. They said, you just sat in between two of the most powerful men in Europe. What was it like? And she recounts this. When I finished speaking with Mr. Gladstone, I was convinced that he was the most clever man in all of Europe. And when I was done speaking with Mr. Disraeli, I was convinced that I was the most clever woman in all of Europe. And guess what? Disraeli beat Gladstone. He won. When you look in, you are typically looking at what you are lacking. I don't have this, I don't have that, this doesn't work for me, that doesn't work for me. And there's a self-reflection that is extremely critical, focused again on what you are lacking or what you do not have, which leads to people feeling sad. When you look out, you've made a decision that you are going to add value into someone else's life. You're gonna get out of your own head and think about the other person. You're not gonna be sitting across from somebody waiting for them to shut up so you can say your point. You have disciplined yourself to engage in the moment, truly listen to understand, and then you have an opportunity to speak into their life and add value. You see, when you look in, you tend to be sad. When you look out at others with the desire to serve, you can be glad. My man, Jesus, said it this way, whoever looks for his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake, in service to others, we will insert Steve Collinsism, whoever looks for his life will lose it, whoever selfishly focused on themselves, whoever looks for their life will lose it, whoever loses their life for my sake will find it. In other words, a person who pours himself out in service to others, a woman who pours herself out in service to others, tends to have a sense of satisfaction and a reward that comes from knowing that when I am outward focused, I am thinking about how I may be of value, how I may be of encouragement, how may I be of inspiration, how I may be able to help this person go another step further today. When you're looking outward, you have the opportunity to be glad because it's not about you anymore. Now, if you wanna know looking inward will make you sad, looking outward will make you glad, but let me tell you what'll make you bad, bad, bad. It's looking up. Because you see, you can't really look out to pour out unless you look up first and get your vertical relationship right where you can be poured into by your creator who is full of unconditional love, grace, and mercy. When your creator, the Lord Father God, pours into you, you now have an abundance that overflows out of you that can go out to others around you. Oh, you look up, you gonna be bad to the bone because then you look in, you might be sad. But you look out, you have a chance to be glad because you are no longer focused on you or what you don't have or what you are missing or what's not right because you realize that you are enough currently to encourage, motivate, inspire, and just bring hope to another person. You see, when, when you make your life about 
serving other people, you have a great opportunity to experience a fulfillment that you would not receive any other way. So my hope for you today is that you choose to stop looking inward in lack and start looking outward in love, unconditional love, favor, showing somebody honor and grace and respect, and make your life about adding value to others rather than being focused on what you may be missing today. What do you need and want from other people? That's the question. What do you need and want from other people? Then my challenge to you today is go and give that to other people today. Have a great day, guys.